So you need to make sure you know how to sketch the sine curve. Okay, so this is the first of the three trigonometric, trigonometric graphs you need to be able to sketch at this point. So let's sketch sine. Okay, so it's very easy to put into your calculator sine of zero. Okay, if you put in sine of zero, you should get zero. And that's telling you that it's crossing through zero, zero on the x-y axis. Okay, and the sine curve looks something like this. And it repeats itself indefinitely in either direction. Okay, and it has a range between minus 1 and 1, so it's got a minimum value of minus 1, maximum value of 1, and it's going from 0 to 360 degrees, or 2 pi, okay, if we're in radians, and that is called its period, okay, that is its period, how, well, the period tells you how much it is uh, repeating, or over which length, sorry, it is repeating. So, from 0 to 2 pi, it repeats itself. So it repeats itself every 2 pi, okay, and so on and so forth. So if that's 360, then it also contains all this symmetry that we're going to be able to utilise. So that is halfway, so that's 180, otherwise in radians as pi. It hits its maximum at 90 degrees, so pi over 2. It hits its minimum at 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2. And on the other side of the y-axis, then you're looking at minus 180 degrees, or minus pi, minus 360 degrees, or minus 2 pi, minus 90 uh, minus pi over 2, and minus 270, minus 3 pi over 2. Okay, so this is the sine curve, and you need to be able to sketch it very quickly and know what that curve looks like, really so that you are able to then solve um, problems involving sine, as we were in the next video.